Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, September 7th to the 8th Intuitive Glove Tarot Read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, info's in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. I'm going to get a channel to message for you in just one moment. First, using a different deck today. I forget the name of this deck. And it's only because I was counting my cards, because I haven't done daily since last week. So, yeah, I was counting my cards, and I'm like, I'm missing two. And I didn't feel like looking for them. I'm sure they're somewhere. So, anyway, I pulled this deck. The cards are all here. And I love this deck, too. I used to use this all the time. So, all right, we have the Eight of Wands. It's all metallic -y and such. We have the Four of Cups. I hope you can see. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have, wow, Taurus. We have the Six of Cups. Holy schmoly. And at the bottom of the deck, there you are. We have the Empress, Taurus. So let's get this channeled message for you from Spirit and see what Spirit has to say. They're saying lead the way, lead the charge. You have what it takes to do this, Taurus. So if there's something that you're... I don't know, if some of you are, are like head of some sort of project or something, they're saying lead the way. You're the person for the job. Take your time, but you, you usually always do, Taurus, because you're very meticulous. You want to make sure that it's done right and you're meticulous about it. Now, they're also saying seek to comfort those around you. There may be people around you that need your comforting right now. They're not going to come out and tell you this, Taurus. You're going to have to pick up on um, sort of empathetic cues, okay? Just be aware because I'm feeling some people need to talk to you. One person in particular, okay? I feel like you live with this person. So, okay. Well, that was a lot. Okay. They're like, we haven't talked to you for three days. So, or five days. I forget how long it's been. So, it's good to be back. All right. What's going on, Taurus? You've got possibly communication with somebody from a distance. This is a past life soulmate. This could be somebody that you do know from childhood. It doesn't have to be. Oh. Okay. Is this the same offer? Okay, Taurus. <laughs> Some of you, this is interesting how this is set up. I feel like you're going to receive passionate communication from this individual. They're going to offer you something, but you're not going to take it. I do feel like this is somebody from the past for those of you who will walk away from this. Is this because, okay, that's why it's set up this way. Okay, for those of you where it's from the past, you're not going to take this offer. You're walking away from it. If for those, for those of you where it's from the present, where you don't know this person in this reality. If it's from a past life that you know them, I don't feel you're walking away from it. So I'm gonna have to sort of clarify in two different ways. 
because they're giving me both stories, which is why it's set up this way. Okay, this is interesting. Tell me about the Six of Cups for the past person. If this is a past person, we'll start with the past. Okay, we'll go past and present on each card. Past person, what is this Six of Cups of? What is this Six of Cups about? This may be a little bit longer than usual, Taurus. Six of Cups. The King of Pentacles. It could be a fellow Taurus or a Virgo Capricorn. Past person. This person could have walked away from you or you them the last time. One of you did. For both of you, they're saying. So what is it that you think about this past person? Yeah, you feel that this person was giving to two people. That's why you walked away. Okay. Now that we understand that, what about this present person? Who is this present person? Wow, Taurus. So if this is somebody in the present, this is definitely a past life soulmate. May even be a twin. Okay. All right. So the eight of wands here. Okay. I do feel they're saying both past and present are at a distance. So past for eight of wands. Yeah. You, you felt like this was a, a burden. Okay, this was like a lot of work for you, Taurus. They're saying that you knew this. You knew that this didn't make any sense, right? That it shouldn't have been this heavy. Okay, new person. Eight of Wands. What is this for the new person in Taurus's life? Yep. Oh my God, you see this? You see this? This is awesome. The Fool. So you want to take a leap of faith with this person, Taurus. Whoever this is, Aries energy, you're wanting a new beginning for this new one. Okay. Okay, does this relate to the present person? No, just the past. Okay, so this Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups are relating to the past person. So I'm going to do these two for the past, and then I'm going to pull two more new ones for the present. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Why are you walking away from this offer? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles and the Tower. Because, because of this past experience. Okay? They just said you didn't appreciate it at all. Whatever the fuck happened, Taurus. You did not appreciate that tower moment at all. So you're choosing to know your worth. You feel that you're worth more than what they offered. And that enough said on that one. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Yeah, Five of Swords energy. You feel that this person is a liar. You feel that this person is an angry person, possibly jealous, possibly a bully, possibly ganged up on you with others because there's more than one person here. There's three people. Okay? So, no. The answer is no. Good for you, Taurus. All right, so let's get out of this energy. I don't even like the feeling of that energy, to tell you the truth. Okay. Whew. All right, so present tense for this present energy for Taurus. Tell me more about this present energy. Um, what's ahead for this present energy? Page of Wands, Communication, Seven of Cups. Okay, there's going to be Two of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be communication about sort of the options that, um, not options as in different people, Taurus. I'm getting, it's like options as to 
how to go about this relationship because it is at a distance, right? So you have the two of wands here. This is talking about seeing your future. This Taurus, yeah, okay? You may need to leave something behind, whether that be moving, whether that be anything, really. What is Taurus leaving behind? Knight of Swords. <laughs> okay, Taurus. For those of you, what you're leaving behind, I feel, is this past relationship. Oh, wow. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Some of you, like, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have somebody from the past come in. You're going to have somebody from the present come in. So this is all happening at the same time. They're saying yes. So this is why, this is why. So what you're leaving behind is brash communication with this past person. So how does this other person feel about Taurus? Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with you. Now, that's a very phallic card there, okay? The Six of Wands, they want victory, okay? They want, it's like, this is victory over a battle. So this person could have been through some shit, right? And they're like, finally, you get to the other side and I feel victorious, right? I feel good, this feels good, this new beginning feels good. Leo energy could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could have that in their charts. So what's the result of this union? Ooh, the devil energy. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Eight of Swords. Okay, be careful that you don't get, there's collaboration here. You could work with this person. So try not to get all caught up in your head. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Hmm. High Priestess. This could be a twin. Okay. I feel that this past relationship is fucking with your head here, Taurus. Okay? This is a prison of your own making. You have to cut yourself free of this. You have to listen to your intuition here. Yes, this is going to be a hella strong connection, okay? But it's not, I'm not feeling toxic from this um, devil. Tell me about this devil. Yeah, this is your destiny. This is your fate. And it's so funny because usually I do feel toxic from the devil and I don't feel it here. And it's because the wheel is now turning. It's like you're moving ahead. And I think this is taking you off guard, and this is why you're all up in your head, Taurus, with the Eight of Swords energy. So let's get some um, advice. Advice for Taurus? Yeah, you've got to get out of your head and out of the sadness of the past. These cards are so worn out because I used to use this deck all the time. All right? You've got to realize that there are two of cups right behind you. And if you get out of your head and you set yourself free, okay? You'll see that. Taurus, you are a creature of habit and change. Uh, you are a creature of habit and a fixed sign. So change for you is sometimes difficult, and that's what I'm feeling here. The Knight of Pentacles, this is why they're saying go slow. Take it slow. <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. However, what wherever the knight is going it's a solid offering. It's a solid, it's the most reliable night in the deck. So they're just saying, take it as slow as you need to take it. This is just how you roll, okay? The more that, okay. They're saying, wow, I feel in my heart chakra. The more that it's slow that you're going, the better. Because what's going to happen, they're saying, is you're going to begin to pick up the pace as this momentum goes, as you begin to feel more comfortable, okay? This Knight of Pentacles, you know, will sort of morph into the other Knights 
from one to the other to the other, okay? And then it's showing me the Empress now, finally leading to the Empress, which was at the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands, definitely could be a twin, okay? So Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, that's all about stability. That is a twin flame card, and that's all about um, celebration, okay? So there is victory in this relationship, this past one. That's a no, and I feel that you're not going to be all up in your head about that one. I feel that one's pretty quick. All right, Taurus. Wow. See, I told you this was going to be a long one. I hope this helped. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. The information can be found in the description box below. Have yourself a fabulous day, Taurus. And I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.